Bismillah, Alhamdulillah, Salatu Wassalamu Ala Rasulillah. My brothers and sisters in Islam, do you know what is the last hadith in Sahih al Bukhari? How did Al Imam al Bukhari conclude his hadith book? We all know that the first hadith was Inna al A'malu bin Niyat, the hadith about intentions. But what was the last hadith? There is a wisdom and a secret for why Al Imam al Bukhari made this hadith the last hadith in his book. And this is the hadith of uh, Abu Huraira radiyallahu anhu, in which the Nabi sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said, Kalimatani khafifatani ala al lisan, thaqilatani fil mizan, habibatani ila al rahman, subhanallahi al azim, subhanallahi wa bihamdih. Allahu akbar. The Nabi sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, in this hadith, he said, There are two words, two phrases that are very light on the tongue, so that when you say them, you don't have to exert any energy or effort. It is very easy upon the tongue. Also, they are ثَقِيلَتَانِ فِي الْمِيزَانِ They are light on the tongue, but they are extremely heavy on the scale. On the Day of Judgment, when your deeds are placed on the scale, these two phrases, these two words are going to weigh extremely heavy on the scale. And in addition to this, حَبِيبَتَانِ إِلَى الرَّحْمَانِ they are most beloved to the most merciful. Allahu Akbar. Two phrases and Nabi Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam is telling us, if you want to say something that Allah loves, these are the words. He loves them and he loves who says them and he is pleased with those who say them. What are these words? Subhanallah al-Azim, Subhanallah wa bihamdih. Allahu Akbar. Subhanallah al-Azim, a brief translation would mean, I declare Allah's perfection. This is what at tasbih is, to declare Allah's perfection and to disassociate any flaws and imperfection from Allah Azza wa Jal. So you say, Subhanallah al-Azim, I declare Allah's perfection, the most great al-Azim. And then you say, Subhanallah wa bihamdih, and I declare once again Allah's perfection and I begin by praising Him, wa bihamdihi, because the greatest way in how you will declare Allah's perfection is by praising Him, by saying Alhamdulillah, and by saying this dhikr here, Subhanallah al-Azim, Subhanallah wa bihamdih. This is the last hadith in Sahih al-Bukhari. And the wisdom and the secret is that he put this hadith as the last hadith in his book because this is a summary of the entire religion. This is what al-Islam is all about. It is about declaring Allah's perfection and praising Him. Every single teaching we do in Islam is about declaring Allah's perfection and praising Him. And this is why the final surah that was revealed unto Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam and the Prophet's life was concluded with this surah. It was surah An-Nasr. إِذَا جَاءَ نَصْرُ اللَّهِ وَالْفَتْحِ وَرَأَيْتَ النَّاسَ يَدْخُلُونَ فِي دِينِ اللَّهِ أَفْوَاجَ فَسَبِّحْ بِحَمْدِ رَبِّكَ وَاسْتَغْفِرْ إِنَّهُ كَانَ تَوَّابًا Nabi sallallahu alayhi wa sallam was commanded to conclude and finish and end his life with at tasbih to say subhanak Allahum wa bihamdik Allahumma ghfir li. And this is what Aisha radiallahu anha would narrate that I heard the messenger sallallahu alayhi wa sallam recite in abundance in his prayers, in his ruku'ah, in his sujood. Subhanak Allahumma wa bihamdik Allahumma ghfir li. And this is how he concluded his life. And this is how Imam al-Bukhari concluded his book. We ask Allah Azza wa Jal to make us of those who truly declare his perfection and his praise. Wallahu a'lam wa sallallahu wa sallam wa baraka ala nabiyyina Muhammad wa ala alihi wa sahbihi ajma'een.